want to say to my brother, President William Ruto, if in our zeal to work, I have wronged you. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. I want to say, if my spouse in our duties for the boy child and her program has wronged you in any way, find it in your heart to forgive her. To our members of parliament, if in the course of duty, through our utterances and actions, we have in one way or another upset you, all wronged you, find it in your heart, forgive me. <laughs> if our brothers who did not support the president and myself in the way my region and the Rift Valley supported him. And probably you find that in appreciating our people and the support they give the president and I, probably our utterances made you feel uncomfortable. We did not mean bad. We were simply appreciating the people who voted for us. And if you feel that we rubbed you the wrong way, please find it in your heart to forgive me. <clears throat> to the people of Kenya, in our service across the country, as we serve you, if there is anything we have done or said that you found unpalatable, that you found unacceptable, please find it in your heart to forgive me. <laughs> Finally, I want to say that Kenya is a country of the rule of law. I have faith. In our courts of law, we have competent men and women in our judiciary who I believe will uphold the Constitution, protect it with their zeal, and always uphold and protect the will of the Kenyan people. Article 1 of the Constitution says the sovereignty of this country rests with the people. And the institutions like Parliament and Senate exercise that power as a matter of delegation so that we have a good country of rule of law as opposed to the state of nature. I appeal to all our independent institutions to uphold the rule of law and remain true to the Constitution so that we don't get in situations where we can have a country that feels that the rule of the jungle is in application. So far, it is my observation that we have a very patriotic judiciary, a judiciary that upholds the rule of law and the constitution and always upholds the supremacy of our constitution. And I believe that Kenya will be a country of the rule of law. 
I therefore want to thank you for your prayers, for your support. And uh, my wife has the doctors and the children. I want to apologize as a politician that your names are everywhere for no reason. Your privacy has been defiled as I fight my political battles. I want to apologize. But there's nothing you can do because you got married to a politician. <laughs> I'm very pained that my late brother, Governor Drito Gashagwa, a good man, a man who worked very hard for his family, who died eight years ago. His will that he made in privacy is in every newspaper. His properties that he worked so hard to leave for his family are everywhere in the newspaper. I wish those who pursue me could just pursue me and allow my little brother to rest in peace. That I feel. And therefore, good people, thank you very much for your prayers. And God will see us through. Amen. I have no doubt in my mind. I have no doubt in my mind, and I want to encourage our office staff not to feel discouraged. Let's just continue working. Because we have a duty to serve the people of Kenya equally, with competence, with commitment, because we owe it to the people of Kenya. Let me introduce the leaders present here. We have uh, the governor of Nyeri, Mutai Kahiga, who came to check on me. We have uh, the honorable member for Kipipiri, Wanjiko Mohe. We have the senator of Moranga, Joe Nyoto. We have the senator of Kiambu, Karungo Adango. We have uh, the Iron Lady of Gedungori, <laughs> the one of Nondre, <laughs> Gadoni wa Mushomba. We have another steel lady, Chuma, from Kirinyaga. Where is she? Jane Jerry Maina. That little tiny girl is also a lawyer. Uh, we have the senator of Lamu. We have the former senator of Kakamega and Secretary.